How's it going my block buddies? We're here with Paper Mario Color Splash. This is blocked content and we're of course looking at the new Rescue v Toad Squad trailers. This is already episode 5. They're going by color which and the first one was actually you know the announcement one, uh, the intro one. Uh, we're at episode 5. These trailers all kind of show a little bit of Paper Mario Color Splash. The game, what we can expect from certain areas and of course some funny jokes. <laughs> Um, I really like this trailer so far, they're doing a great job at being original with this Paper Mario game that everyone uh, is criticizing for being not that original in its, uh, you know, graphical aspects. But um, yeah, they're they're doing good things uh, for me, I, I feel like uh, it's really working, this, this cool way of having sort of a TV show, kind of like trailer. And for me, yeah, it, 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 it does work, it's um, still a far cry from what we had with the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door um, aesthetics. But um, yeah, it, it does get some charm, it does give some personality, and I do like what they're doing with these kind of trailers, uh, the whole TV aesthetic does work. Um, although, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious what the game will end up being like. I really want to play it very soon, um, instead of just analyzing these trailers to death, but let's do this with episode 5, we're just gonna check out, you know, what's new, because I think we're gonna focus on some uh, very cool things here. Um, we start, of course, with a mountain and our main characters jumping on front of the screen, uh, which is really cool, they look very angry, as always, but uh, something funny always happens in these trailers, uh, something weird with one of the toads, uh, and usually it's uh, one of the toads that's not uh, in, uh, you know, spotlight on that episode, happens again because we get the fireworks like we always do, but with this firework we get purple rescue toad who actually gets hit by the firework uh, you know by accident uh, and flies away um, so uh, I don't know if he's okay is, is, is purple okay hey dude did you did you yeah did you make it anyway we cut to the rescue V squad logo which is always a treat to look at because uh, they're doing a great job with a TV filter making it soft um, and I love the music that plays. I wish it was in the in the actual game. We get the splash screen with episode 5 illusion uh, Which we already uh, kind of you know thought maybe this will be the forest of illusion because it's talking about the showtime in the green woods So green woods, you know illusion illusion forest forest of illusion super mario world We didn't really know but now we get confirmation what this actually is So let's head on to episode 5 showtime in the green woods So we start with green toad and green toad is looking uh, quite fierce uh, he spins around, does his move, and he actually it actually says on the splash screen, Rescue Green likes his green tea cold. So uh, that have you have you ever tried that though? Getting like like making green tea and like like putting it there and just letting it get cold. That's that's horrible. It is horrible. So maybe that's uh, that's what real fighters drink, and I'm just not strong enough or not uh, not good enough. But yeah, green tea always with the puns, with the colors, whatever. It's uh, it's what Nintendo is doing with this game, and I kind of like it. They're doing a good job. So we cut to a forest scene with a lot of fog everywhere. We haven't really seen this area before. We've seen forests before, a lot of it, but we haven't really seen this foggy, dark forest before. Uh, it looks really cool. The floor is tiled. Kind of makes me think of uh, you know the the Sonic games kind of like a green hill vibe but very dark uh, we also see a shy guy hanging from a tree on sort of a swing and he's holding one of the rescue v uh, red toads one of his squad um, and you know the green toad is actually looking at this screen uh, not really moving not really doing anything we can see a question mark block in the background and that's about all that this gives um, there's of course particles of the trees falling down which looks really cool and the toad is screaming for his life The shy guy is hanging on to him like sort of a uh, trap like a trap in the forest So it makes me think of Star Wars episode 6 where the you know the little cute bear people kind of uh you know, do some weird things. Um, so right here, Mario stops and we get, uh, of course, Rescue Red pops in and says, Green, Green, we're live. Like, w what are you doing? Turn around, talk to the people. Um, and yeah, it doesn't really register with Green. He's not really doing anything. Mario is walking ahead and the toad swings in front of the camera. Looks pretty cool, 60 frames per second, everything. And then Red says, why aren't you talking? Ah, fine, I'll do it. So yeah, Green uh, is not really hosting his own episode. Mario walks on, we see the question mark block, and then we actually enter uh, through two big trees, a very cool new scene that we haven't seen before. And Red Toad actually exclaims, we discovered a creepy circus tent deep within the forest. So what we can see here is exactly that, a creepy forest tent in the middle of that forest. And 
we can actually see a booth with a shy guy. We've already seen this booth in the Colosseum too, so um, they, they are reusing assets for different parts of different levels, which is not that bad. It gives that familiarity. And of course, there's this font that they keep using uh, in a language that no one really knows, um, but it probably says, you know, circus, uh, something like creepy, <laughs> creepy forest circus, the creepy forest circus. So that's like a pretty catchy name to me. Um, and we're getting closer, and in another scene, we see that Mario is actually at the front of the line where uh, a lot of toads, I think uh, over 40 toads, have gathered here in a big line to see what is inside the circus. Uh, what I think is really cool is that the circus is, you know, giving off these colorful lights, but it's still in a misty area, and it looks kind of dark, kind of like a horror movie. Uh, I think that Paper Mario Color Splash is doing these different areas pretty well, um, like original new areas that we haven't seen before. And we've been hoping for that for a long time, so uh, we're, we're getting what we want, I suppose. And here Mario is actually talking to the leader of the Rescue V Squad, the, you know, Rescue Red. And Rescue Red is looking, it looks pretty sweet, so we all got in line. Um, they're actually right, it does look pretty sweet. Uh, it kind of looks like the main hub area of this world uh, will be inside of the circus tent, and it probably will be a lot bigger inside than it looks outside. I can also see uh, in the background there are some windows that are shuttered, by, uh, you know, that are uh, shuttered with some wood. Maybe you can smash those with a hammer and get in from a different side. Uh, maybe they're like windows type things. Uh, so maybe there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye. Uh, also, the lights uh, on the top, like the, the buttons on the top, kind of look like Phantos from Super Mario Bros. 2. So maybe there's like a hint of Mario Bros. 2 lore coming into this game. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, Red says it looked pretty sweet, so we all got in line. So they did that, and then we get this really cool wave of every toad doing the signature pose. And they just wave on, and it looks so cute. Um, and then eventually it stops, and a toad says 49. So they have 49 plus one of course being rescue red so they have 50 toads and they all jump and no one really uh, is going in line as they should they really just barge in and uh, almost you know crush mario but they definitely crush the leader at rescue red and they just run in uh, so they're not that stealthy at this moment and mario's just looking on like what is happening right now what is happening but i know so anyway we go inside the circus tent now and we actually see a Koopaling that is very familiar. Um, we see the inside of the circus tent. There are ladders. There are, uh, you know, shy guys on the one side of the audience. And there are rescue toads on the other side of the audience. And uh, we actually see Lemmy on his big ball. And we see a green shy guy that uh, is just looking on. Maybe he's like the... He's like a circus master. And then Blue actually comes in and says, Huh? That, that clown on the top of the ball sure looks familiar. Does he look familiar to him? So in the lore, have they already met, maybe? And I think that using this Koopaling as like the main Koopaling for this stage is really cool um, because he already yeah, kind of looks like a clown with his uh, yeah, ball aesthetic always. It's always been his main weapon in the series. So he finally kind of found his setting, I suppose. The colored flags in the top kind of really, you know, drive home that this is a very very colorful place inside a very dreary dark forest uh, and we move on so here we actually see mario fight uh, different types of enemies and here it becomes abundantly clear that this circus tent is a very small level um, it kind of looks like uh, it is just a kind of sort of fighting arena a little bit like the Colosseum was, but there's no real stage leading up to it. Maybe the forest part is the biggest part of the stage, and then coming into the circus tent is kind of like a few fights until we get a boss fight, which is a little disappointing to me because, you know, a circus tent, you know, going up the rafters and going through the lights and everything in the crowds, that kind of could have served for a very cool level. The trapeze in the, in the ceiling of the level could have really done a difference to make this level stand out a bit more. Uh, they've chosen not to do that and to make it like a fighting ring. Um, okay, Mario's fighting different Buzzy Beetles here and a shy guy wearing a hat with a spike on it. Um, there's a big Buzzy Beetle here, uh, a smaller one and a very small one. And supposedly Mario can already use uh, cards of Buzzy Beetles in fights to kick the shell and to kick different enemies. Uh, but it looks really cute how they're wobbling about, uh, kind of stay, trying to stay... Um, trying to stay afloat and here your rescue yellow actually comes in and says there were crazy giant beasts so we actually see dino rhinos back here and as i've already said super mario world is my favorite mario game 
you know, ever, ever made. And Dino Rhino is in that game. Uh, and it's never really been brought back, but right now it's here for the circus level. So I'm very happy that they end up doing that. They're a crazy giant beast, and these are one of them with, of course, a green Shy Guy, uh, sh the Shy Guy Master. And what's very cool to note is that these Dino Rhinos actually, uh, they blast fire up in the air. And little known fact is, uh, I learned this from Beta64, actually. Very cool channel. Go subscribe to that guy because he's doing awesome stuff. Um, these big Dino Rhinos actually were supposed to breathe fire up in the air, uh, but Nintendo ended up cutting that on the cutting room floor, uh, but in this game they actually breathe fire in the air, which I think is a very cool callback to something that they weren't able to do in the original game where they came from. So we move on to a Yoshi, and we've already seen a Yoshi before in the game in the hotel room setting. Uh, it was a green Yoshi, but now we get an orange Yoshi, which to some people, you know, a presses seems very familiar. Um, Mario is prepared to fight this guy because purple actually says, "Gross! Who knows where that tongue's been?" Um, yeah, Yoshi actually licks Mario in the face. It looks like this Yoshi is an enemy. I really like the design of this Yoshi. Um, I, I, I like the general design of Yoshis in this Paper Mario game. Uh, but it looks like this Yoshi might be an enemy uh, this moment in time, which uh, they haven't really done before and kind of feels out of place. But having it be a different color than green sure kind of makes that difference. But at least they could have made him look a little bit like Boshi from Mario RPG. I don't know if they have the rights to that character. It would be kind of weird if they didn't because it's basically a Mario character recolored. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we see red and green, re rescue red and rescue green, uh, kind of banter back and forth. Uh, red says, dude, green, say something. He's, you know, he's been on pause this whole time. What is he, what is he doing? Why is he just staring at the screen? And we see a couple of green shy guys on a unicycle. And um, this really gives, you know, that circus aesthetic kind of a, a bigger feel. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more circusy themed enemies. This looks really cool. And Mario's, of course, looking at his cards because what are you going to do when you're in a big battle fighting enemies? You know, you got to look at your cards. That's how it works. So Rescue Green actually turns around and it's very noticeable that he's sleeping. Oh, he's been sleeping this whole time. He was kind of tired, I guess, from rescuing everyone. He says, huh? And of course, the shy guys are still moving around in their cute unicycle. And then Red screams, are you seriously sleeping right now? And Green is just like baffled by, oh, wait, are we doing a thing? Was I on air? And then he says, I wasn't sleeping. I was just resting my consciousness. Because as we know, these uh, cool rescue toads are all kind of ninjas, kind of like samurai warriors, and they uh, focus a lot before fighting. I love that part about the character. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this toad has kind of uh, pooped the bed on multiple occasions. Now we see some footage uh, that we've actually already seen before of the rescue toads forming a bridge for Mario. Um, over some water and uh, yeah then they ask who's that that's actually a shy guy with a hat and he's using the bridge as sort of a trampoline and he's jumping and then the toads are actually uh, down in the water and it does it doesn't look that pleasant actually they're having a bad time uh, with her face down in the water Mario needs to save them and we can actually see a rescue green uh, hanging on on the left side and then every toad says that's your squad you know save them come on man are you still sleeping you know hanging there I think that's pretty funny and he's like I'm, I'm kind of sleepy anyone got some green tea so yeah maybe um, yeah don't drink the green tea maybe you have some sleep well tea <laughs> maybe you got too much of that so that's the end of this one uh, it says next time episode 6 grand voyage the foggy purple sea so I think we all know what uh, level this will be because we've seen the, the purple skull uh, a lot of times before. Um, that will probably be this level and it's rumored that Wendy Okuba will show up here um, because there has been some footage leaked of her in sort of a, a sea, underwater sea setting. So maybe that will be the coupling of the next video and we'll go to that purple skull setting. So a lot of dark places uh, for this game. Uh, I have to say this trailer didn't really do it for me. I think the jokes were severely lacking. I think the content in this video um, is kind of lacking. There's not a lot of things happening, um, but I do uh, like, you know, the back and forth of the characters, and I do like the fact that they're really honing in on what's special about this game, the humor. But uh, yeah, the video is a lot shorter than the other ones too. The other ones are around two to three minutes, and this one is uh, not even two minutes. So uh, very weird choices by Nintendo to, uh, yeah, kind of uh, make this one a bit quicker and weirder. 
Um, I don't think the circus tent could have served for one entire video, and we didn't even get uh, to hear more of that Koopa Link. So, yeah, too bad. I wish uh, I wish there was more in this video. Kind of, uh, yeah, kind of disappointed me in a few aspects. But Paper Mario Color Splash is really doing well. People are excited actually about it. Um, hearing actually from people uh, at work, they're actually excited about this, which is really weird. Um, so they're marketing it uh, pretty well. Uh, it's colorful. It's for the kids. It's not the Paper Mario you know and love, but it's something new and something exciting um, and you know we need to play this game and review it right so I'm very curious what did you guys think of this video please leave a comment down below and know that we have a Super Mario Maker giveaway going you can actually win a very cool original Super Mario Maker goodie uh, all you have to do is subscribe to block content um, and make sure to leave a comment why you should get this very cool goodie and we'll mail it to you we'll, we'll just do that um, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we will give it away and I hope you look forward to that because uh, it's gonna be a good day a Thousand subscribers. We need to celebrate it and we have a Super Mario Maker goodie to do that So hope you guys like this video uh, You can of course subscribe to block content hit the button like the post do everything you want And we are at square things on Twitter and Facebook. So until the next trailer of Paper Mario Color Splash hits This was block content. We'll see you guys later